all right now about last year we did a video about this d16 z6 that we did we ported the head but this head was done roughly nine years ago almost a de decade ago for the boys in austria they held a few records including the standing mile record and of course we've done quite a few after that including currently so now it's time to actually show you guys the development stage or the phase that we got to improve and of course all the details that we can share for you guys this way it's gonna be really interesting and just you know you're gonna pick up a lot of good stuff and here we'll talk about the details the evolving changes that we did and of course this is for the sock lovers this one is for you let's go <laughs> now here we have a z6 po8 head it's quite fresh actually even though despite being a bit dirty it's still quite fresh and you'll see eventually later we gotta remove the cooked up intake gasket we're gonna scrape that off later and here look at the deck the chambers it's all balanced i mean it, it has carbon buildup but it's all balanced but there's no excessive milling it actually hasn't been milled here's the intake ports they're all stock yeah, so it looks good and everything is good in my book. So now let's invert the head here to look more into the ports. Yes, this all stock. So it's going to get more cleaned up and less darker when we start doing with the carbide and the sanding roll. But for now, it's still looking too dark because of the carbon buildup. That's how it is when it got here. So we got to clean that up. And now after removing the intake gasket here, we are at the porting bench. Yes, now we're getting ready. We start with the carbide first. This way to get the shape going really good and, you know, not, not really quick, but, you know, so that it doesn't waste too much time. And when you're going with the carbide at this point, you can actually feel the bumps or the ridges on the core shift. This lets you equalize it better before you hit up the 80 grit on the sanding roll. All right. Yes, now it's going to be good. And now, of course, next, we go to the exhaust and we shape it up nothing too serious or nothing too special or crazy about it we just try to get the contours good and a little bit more round because there's definitely core shift on the exhaust parts and you can feel it with the carbide when you're you know making passes so this lets you equalize it better so that when you go to the 80 grit it's starting to get easier and good let's, let's look at it closer as you can see, uh, mostly on the sidewalls and the divider, we're getting the shape good. Okay, now we're going to clean up the head and let's, let's go to the clean workbench. Here we go. You can see the intake parts. You can see a lot of it are not really hogged out. And there's some areas that I didn't touch because, you know, it's going to skew the shape not to a pleasant, uh, ideal shape. Sorry. Like, for example, if we touch, start touching the floor which is the roof on this angle, you start to increase the bend or increase the bend drastically. That's no good for flow. Here you go closer. You can see the other one side is untouched because it's already too deep, but the other side is okay. Now let's go to the exhaust here. Nothing too unusual here. The biggest challenge here is actually getting the port shape a little rounder than you know that idea uh, then that it is stock from the from the valve seat to the throat all the way to the port where it merges as one onto the headers or toward the flange here we are now with 80 grit okay yep and we're gonna speed this up so it doesn't get too boring as you can see after this you're gonna start to see the shape contouring really well or getting better so that's really really a uh, good thing for improved flow without actually hugging the parts too much of course let's look at it closer now as you can see you can still see the the ridge line but you know it's not too too hugged out all right so now as we continue this if you like this video hit the like button as because this would show a lot more activity on the video that will lead the algorithm to throw the video to a wider audience that will help me guys so hey hit the like button if you like it and if you haven't subscribe this way you get updated whenever we have good stuff 
in line or uploaded you, you guys got to check it out and re, you know continue to have a good community or co co connection at the comment section below so hey i'll wait for you guys all right and of course on the more serious guys or the more serious enthusiasts the membership only is also available it has more details like tricks we do with when dealing with core shift like this and of course the finished on the porting and even the bowl work and the even chamber work on the b16 that actually we did dyno and talk about tuning and share about the stuff that we do on tuning hey we're also working on a how to or tuning lesson like the basics the starters how to start it up and tuning so hey that's going to be cool for you guys, right? Now onto the exhaust, we go, we continue with integrate, start to shape it up good, make good passes here. And so we can say, start to see the shape getting there to how we want it. Now here, we still lubricated with ethyl alcohol and soapy water on the port floors of the exhaust. All right, now let's continue. As you can see, starting to get to the, texture and shine of how we want it and that you know the lubrication or the lubricant that we use actually helps clean that up really good that's why it looks clean and good there you go and now here let me show you close oh yeah it's getting there it's getting there all right now we go back with the intake and make a few more passes this way we get the texture as good as I want it to be. All right, so now let's go. Here we are again, we continue with 80 grit. All right, start to get, make sure we make sure there's no bumps or ridges anymore because from the car, carbide, we actually remove the bigger ridges, but we, got, we don't get to remove everything until we get to 80 grit on the sanding roll. Yes, now we spray it a bit more just to make sure everything is good and fine. Yes, as you can see, I actually occasionally spray on it. And now let me show you closer. Oh yes, it's getting there. As you can see, it's still not totally hung out. We're just carefully getting the shape that we want. So yep, this is gonna be really, really good. Yep. All right, now we make another pass. It's getting cleaner and cleaner. It's still 80 grit. And you can see now we're working on the roof, which is mainly the floor on this angle here because the head is inverted, but that's mostly the roof. Make sure it's all cleaned up. And now here, the port floor on the exhaust again. Now you can see the finish is actually starting to get close to how we want it getting brighter and cleaner yep all right now we invert the head again now the port roof on the exhaust you can actually see the texture is getting better starting to look good and it's still it's starting to look brighter but not too shiny just a bit dull which is which which tells you the 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 texture is actually pretty good because if you get it too shiny, that's fine, but you know, that's a little too smooth and it takes a lot of hours to achieve that. Here, let me show you close. Oh yes, starting to look good now, as you can see. It's actually almost, it's looking almost done, right? Yes, now let's clean it up. Let's head back to the workbench to show you better. Here it is. Look at that, all the bowls are looking good and the port side walls. But you can still see the core shift is still there. We're not touching it. I mean, we can touch it, but it's going to make the whole intake port all crooked up. So that's not going to be good. Let's look at closer here with better lighting. Yes, as you can see, this side here, the side walls are all perfectly touched up. But on the other side, Let's, let's move the, f the phone a bit. Here on the other side, look. We can clean that up. But then if you look at it straight sh straight up, that part won't be straight, right? It'll be like a little deeper on the right side. So 
we you know that's why it's that's something that you gotta be careful about because it'll always be tempting to clean it up perfectly it'll look good visually but it won't be straight naturally it won't be flowing that good here's the exhaust it's like 90 percent done it's all good now wait let's get closer with a better lighting there you go see the harder part here is from the valve seat keeping it as round as possible all the way through past the guides and until they merge together once you get to do that you know you're improving the port speed which is gonna be good for the exhaust here you see this picture look at that looks really really good yep and light don't lie you can see the contours by the light there it looks really really good even here like you look at let's look at the bottom part yep and i was check on the chambers here we're gonna clean this up we're gonna show you a bit of work that we're gonna do on the chambers to get all cleaned up but you can see the intake bowls are almost perfect right even the exhaust bowls all right okay now let's go back to the porting bench let's do more on the intake to get it all finished up with the proper finish so we get the we need a few more passes there to get it good all right man it's still 80 grit so we keep going and you will see later the more passes we do on the 80 grit the better the results are or the texture that we try to achieve so when people wonder like you know they can't seem to get the finish of the 80 grit we make a few passes with it and of course we spray it with ethyl alcohol mixed with soapy water to get the lube to clean it up really good and later you'll see the finished product on how it how it uh, does or what it does to the results of the ports all right yeah all right as we get done with the intake now now we go back to the exhaust and this time it's 120 grit so we're gonna get to finish it up we're gonna finish the texture we actually always finish up with a 120 grit on the exhaust because it gives a smoother finish i mean you can go smoother but you know for me it's like a waste of time because it just doesn't make no difference anymore but 120 grit versus 80 grit this is quite the difference there you go so later we're gonna work on the, on the bowl some more because we're finishing this up so we gotta do the finishing touches as you can see the exhaust roof is starting to look really really good and contoured well yep all right now here you go let me show you oh it looks looking fine it's starting to look really really good right okay now on to the bowls here we'll spray a bit more on the intake bowl we we go with 120 grit the last inch before the valves and also the exhaust but that's because the exhaust the rest is also already 120 grit there you go all right and then a few chamber cleanup but here's some more bowl work on the exhaust this way everything else after the bowl on the exhaust is 120 grit the transition is really really good yes now let me show you let's look at it close oh yeah that looks really really good right it's gonna be flowing efficiently yes sir yes sir all right i'll clip again clip the phone again now we start working on the chamber a bit we invert it in the chambers we're just using 120 grit on the chamber this way we don't change much just remove the sharp edges the contour this way it make it a bit softer this is why some people say it's this it's soft head because it doesn't it won't be prone to pinging or pre-ignition because there's less or no hot spots and yes we gotta cc the chambers after so it's gonna be all equal yes that's all good let's look at it close here after cleaning up on the workbench 
Oh, look at those intake bowls. Yes, so good. And even the chamber is almost there, but not yet. You see, there's still some parts where it needs a bit of cleanup, but we're starting to remove the sharp edges, right? You can see that. Okay, let's look a better, a better angle here on the side. Look, see? There's no more edges or there's no ridge right on the sides of the chamber. So technically, it's like we softened it up. This way, this way, it won't be prone to pre-ignition. There won't be any hot spots, so it'll be performing really good. And the tuner has more freedom on finding more power on the dyno. This is very, very important. Okay, now let's go back to the workbench, do some further cleanup on the chambers. We sprayed some more. It's still 120 grit, but you can see the sanding roll got a bit dirty now, like it has more debris. This time we're spraying with WD-40, just to clean it up good. It helps, you know, unclog some of the carbon buildup, so it's going to be a lot better, a lot easier, actually. Here we invert it again. Yes, we're going all, getting all the edges good and, you know, removing all the sharp parts or you know the indentations now let's look at it close oh yeah it's starting to look really really good now let's go wash it up and let's show you the finished product let's go let's go now here it is look at that with better lighting as you can see now it's contoured well oh this is gonna be so so good this is actually an improved version of our the, the head that we used to do or the approach that we used to do and this we have dynoed a few times on several builds and it's been improving ever since so this is pretty good in my book yes you can see this side here untouched there's some untouched areas because if you touch it up look it's gonna be crooked to one side right so you can make it pretty but it won't really flow that good and onto the exhaust and here like i stated the hardest part here is trying to get as round or as round as possible from the seat all the way through the ports bowl until it merges this way you actually make sure port speed or port exit speed is really good and yes, you can see that the divider is all good. We don't get it too sharp because when you get it too sharp, it becomes a heat sink. We don't need this to be a heat sink, right? Okay. And now, of course, onto the chambers. Let's see. Oh, it looks really, really good. As you can see now, all the sharp ridges or edges are all softened up. Yes, now this is going to be really good. It's not going to be prone to pinging and the stock chamber cc volume is 34.6 so when we check this this we shot for all to be 35 cc this way it's all good didn't really, really lower the compression and this is an improvement of this and because they actually did a good job and the boys from austria actually held the record for a few years that's pretty good and also on this one this is an all motor vti it made over 150 wheel horsepower. That's good for 13.6 without needing to do a carbon door for lightning. This is gonna be so good, right? Okay, and of course, you can click here for the next one.